Welcome to part 12 of my Call of Duty 4 playthrough. So what you just missed is we ran out from underneath that truck. We hid behind a crate, and then we came over to these little stairs. But first we hid behind that wall, because there's a sniper up top where I'm going. And we had to shoot him. So that's really all you missed, so it's all good. So I'm just coming up here to get a new gun. This is not the way to go. There's some intel up here, so if you want the intel, go up there. But other than that... There's nothing up here besides guns and intel. And stingers, which I have only once been able to successfully use on that helicopter and keep from getting killed by the ensuing soldiers of the Russians. So now let's go where we're supposed to go. Right here. I'm going to do it the badass way and get myself hurt. Oh. Manly. That's alright, let your guard down. There's no one anywhere near here. I had that dog coming up right there. Shoot it, and you got about 10 dogs on your ass. And they can kill Captain McMillan, and then you lose. That's the one part I hate about this entire mission is that if Captain McMillan dies, you lose. And, like, you literally have to make sure that he doesn't die. I mean, in the sense that, like, if you do something to cause his death. Other than that, he can't even die, so what's the point of being able to cause his death? Basically, yeah, like, if, he, if you do something that causes people or dogs to attack you and the people or dogs kill him, then you lose. Like that part where we're crawling through the glass. <laughs> Again, I said glass. Who would crawl through glass? It's physically impossible. When you're crawling through the grass, and there's all those, uh, Russian dudes, and the tanks and everything, if you get up, then they attack, then you lose. Well, not necessarily, but most likely. Because if he dies because of that, you lose. Other than that, he can't even die, like, if you're running away... Like, we will be later and people are shooting at him, and you. It's not, like, directly your fault that they're shooting at you. Then, yeah, if he dies, you're done. Come on, where the hell are you? You slow mother effer. Oh yeah, right here I gotta be a little bit of an OCD person. And I have to let him say what he has to say. So over here is a ho is where you're supposed to go. Once you go inside this little building right there, thing's over. But he's not coming for some stupid reason, so we gotta go run back over there. Well, you don't have to. You can just go and you're done. But I do OCD... Uh, can't jump back up there, so we gotta go into the radiation. Uh, sprint, sprint, sprint. Ugh. All of it when you run through radiation and he's around, he's like, Are you daft? <laughs> British lingo. Daft. <laughs> what a funny word. British might find the word moron weird, so it's all good. Alright, so there's a hotel coin. Oh, yeah, I don't even let him say what he's supposed to say. Well, he kind of does it. I, I cut him off right when he's saying, let's move. Alright, so this is the really, really awesome part. You get to shoot Zakaev's arm off. No matter what, though. Like, you can't shoot anything else but his arm. No matter what it hits. It's kind of weird when you think about it, but, I mean, it, it does have the whole time paradox. Fifteen years ago, blah, blah, blah. Can't really change exactly what happened, so whatever. Oh yeah, this is really cool, because you gotta, like, because it broke bullet curves because of the wind and everything. It's such a long-distance shot, so... You really have to be, uh, good about this. And look how far away that is. That is a far away shot. <laughs> Wait for the wind to die down. Who does that? We're gonna do it the badass way and just shoot. 
Yeah, you can get like six rounds off before they even know you're shooting because they will not be alerted until a bullet hits somebody or something. So just shoot off a bunch of rounds and hope you hit them. Oh yeah, this helicopter's got to be annoying. Oh, there we go. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh yeah, there's got to be this moment of phew, barely made it. Watch. We jump down, boom! Everything explodes. So now, this is part of the mission. Tanks, because all we're doing now is running, and people are shooting, and it's easy to die, and then eventually you have to start taking care of McMillan, because he is a m complete idiot at one point. And look at it, there's like 50 guys here. It's ridiculous. So I'm like, okay, I'm on recruit, so maybe I can just run by all of them. So that's exactly what I do. I just sprint my ass off. Oh yeah, this is part of stupid. He's like, well, lose him in the apartment. So I go sprint over the apartment. And I'm like, should I wait for him or not? I decide, nah, I won't wait for him. But, as it turns out, he has to open a door for you, so, uh, you kind of have to wait for him. Because you can't go anywhere, because he's got to open that door that was oddly colored, the one on the left. Oh, there he is. Took you long enough. I mean, I thought we were running away, not making sure there's nobody around. He's, like, aiming up at the windows. Look at that. Look how cautious he's going. There's no time for caution. We need to get the hell out of here. Alright, so this dog, just kill it, because later on it will start jumping through the windows and going after you. And that's never pleasant. So just kill it right away. Even if you're an absolute dog lover and are, like, obsessed with dogs, this is the one time you need to say, who gives a shit, and just kill it. Damn you. I don't know why I did this. I seem to remember him once saying to do that. But I don't actually have to end up doing that. Look, he says more behind us. So why does he say that? There's no one behind us. God damn it. Yeah, motherfucker. Oh no. We got a helicopter. So now just start sniping the helicopter and just shoot it as much times as possible. Eventually. Now this is where your guys complete moron. I try to help him, but it's too close. I'm like, no shit. Oh. Bullocks. <laughs> What kind of word is that? Oh yeah, don't go that way. That's not the way to go. This is the way to go. So now this is where the mission, like, it tanked before, but now it's like dropping like an atom bomb. It's just... Because so now you have to carry him around and then make sure that no one shoots yourself while he's not being shot. And it's just really retarded. Actually, I don't think he can get killed. But still, I don't like it because you can go too far away. And then he dies. You gotta stay, like, a certain distance away from him. Or not away from him, but a certain distance close to him. You gotta be, in, like, within a certain distance of him. So that gets really annoying. Especially at this part up here. Ugh! Oh. So what I do is I'm just like, fuck it, I'm sending him right down the middle. Okay, I'm going to put him right where he can be shot, because I don't think it matters. And this is an early grenade, I shouldn't have done that. And this is a really crappy battle area. Oh, grenade. 
got one. And this little British accent. <laughs> North? Where the hell's the north? Oh, to hell with it. I'm just getting out of here. They're still shooting at us, but whatever. Anyway, that concludes part 12. I will see you in part 14, or part, yeah, part 13. Excuse me. Yeah, see ya.